welcome to the channel of digital tutorial today we are going to talk about bidirectional shift register with parallel load again i say bidirectional shift register with parallel load so what the register is capable of doing register capable of shifting right or left what is actually a shift register shift register actually consists of a chain of flip flops connected in cascade with the output of one flip flop connected to the input of next flip flop if we have access to all flip flop outputs of a shift register then what we can do the information which is entered serially into the shift register can be taken out in parallel some shift register have shift right capability and some shift register has shift left capabilities another thing clear control we have a clear control the clear the register to zero i am pinpointing the points pinpointing the things which we need to consider for designing a bidirectional shift register with parallel load i have noted down the important points okay and these are the points you people also have to consider while designing the shift bidirectional shift register with parallel load you have to note down the capabilities of the shift register what it is capable of doing what are the input signal it will be having what are the output signal it will be having whether it is capable of shifting only right whether it is capable of shifting only left or it is capable of capable of shifting out also so these are the point you have to keep it in your mind while designing a bidirectional shift register a cp input for clock pulses to synchronize all operation we will have a cp input for clock pulses a shift right control to enable shift right operation a shift left control to sh shift left operation a parallel load control to enable parallel transfer and what are they are needed for the parallel transfer we need to have an input line associated with the parallel transfer as our shift register is capable of doing shift right shift load parallel load so in order to do so we have a multiplexer and the control input of the multiplexer is s1 and s0 now when s1 and s0 is 0 0 what would be the register operation no whatever the value is presently available at the register output same value will be applied to the d input of the flip flop okay there would be no change in the value whatever the present value of the register is applied whatever is the present value of the register same is applied to the d input of the flip flop for s1 s0 is equal to 0 0 this is for the register operation of no change when the register operation is 0 1 that is shift right what it will do in shift right operation terminal 1 of the multiplexer so two input two cross so four cross one multiplexer we have four input line one output line and two select line so when the select line is 0 1 the shift right terminal of the one multiplexer shift right terminal one of the multiplexer inputs have a path to the d input of the flip flop so for s1 and s0 is equal to 0 one shift right operation will be selected and for shift right operation the multiplexer have the terminal one input okay and that would go out of the multiplexer terminal one input of the multiplexer go at go out of the multiplexer and they provide a path to the d input of the flip flop now when the select lines are selection mode is 1 0 terminal 2 of the multiplexer have a path to the d inputs of the flip flop terminal 2 of the multiplexer what will the terminal 2 do terminal 2 of the multiplexer have a path to the d inputs of the 
flip flop so for the multiplexer terminal 2 will be selected when the terminal 2 will be selected the output of the multiplexer for terminal 2 will have a path to the d input of the flip flop so s1 s0 is for shift right operation similarly for s1 s0 11 is the shift left operation so the here we are selecting the terminal input 3 of the multiplexer so whatever information is available at the terminal 3 of the multiplexer will go out of the multiplexer and would be available to the input of the d flip flop the binary information on the terminal 3 is transferred into the register okay simultaneously during the next clock pulse whatever the binary information is available on the term terminal 3 of the multiplexer is transferred into the register okay for the next clock pulse now we will design the circuit now friends lot let's talk about the design of the bidirectional flip flop bidirectional shift register with parallel loop so here i have four flip flops so it is a four bit register i have the clear input that is common to all the flip flop i have the clock pulse that is also common to all the flip flop now this four bit shift register can operate as series shift right shift left parallel loop okay here is the s1 s0 mode input in order to select the four mode of operation when s1 and s0 is 0 0 S1 and S0 is 0 0. At that time, there would be the no change in the value of output. You see, A3 output output of the flip flop is fed to the bit zero, fed to the zero input of the max. Then it will only go out of the max, and for the next clock pulse, it will give the same output. You can see for A2, A1, and A0 same thing. you see output going to the input of zeroth input of the max output coming out going into the zeroth input of the max output coming out going to the zeroth into the max and now max will give out the output that will go to the d input of the flip flop and for the next clock pulse same output will be available from the d flip flop this is for when there is no change in the when s1 s0 is 0 0 that means there is no change in the value of the output coming out from the register now when s1 s0 is 0 1 means s1 s0 is 0 1 at that time one terminal of max is getting selected and one terminal is connected to serial input for shift right okay so whatever the serial input is going into the max it will coming out from the max and it would be available at the d input and output from the d flip flop is go will go to the you see number 1 this max terminal 1 of the max output will go out input to the terminal 1 of the max output will go out and go to the output will come out and go to the terminal 1 input of the max okay you can see that that was and going into the and you see after going to the it will only come out from a from the d flip flop and that would be the serial output for the shift right now a1 is is s1 s0 is 10 at the time serial input for shift left operation it is going to to coming out going to the terminal 2 it is coming out like this and going into the term input 2 coming out max terminal 2 input of the max coming out going to the d input of the flip flop coming out and is going to here 
again it is coming out okay again it is coming out and is going to the terminal 2 input of this mux and whatever is coming out of a3 output and that is is the output of shift left operation hope i will able to make you understand about the shift left terminal 3 it will go to the input of d flip flop output will come out it will go to the terminal na no, terminal 2 okay it will come out and it will go to the terminal 2 of this flip flop it will come out go to the terminal 2 of this flip flop it will come out and this is the shift left output now is the last one that is the parallel in parallel out i4 i3 i2 i1 are the parallel load parallel load into the muxes they are going to the terminal 3 so whatever is fed into the mux a terminal 3 will come out of the mux will go to the d input of the flip flop and it will come out at a3 a2 a1 and a0 okay so hope i am able to make you understand the operation of four bit bidirectional shift register with parallel load please provide your comments because it motivates me to even provide much better videos and many many thanks for watching the video bye have a nice day